Split for the Russian cruiser line is at Shkurs, right? This is where you're going to have to, if you want to go move the branch over and pick up Tallinn and Riga and Petropavlovsk, this is where you're going to have to invest your XP. So I started putting some time into Shkurs, and we're going to do a game in Shkurs tonight just to kind of kind of showcase the ship. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Arasinski, thank you for the follow. So we're going to do a game in Shkurs. Oh, already with the bad RNG, you big meanie. Um... Shkurs remains a really, really solid mid-tier light cruiser, but she is incredibly fragile. To Jurassic Park. Thank you for the follow, Omega. So you gotta be a little frosty because this thing will get blapped at a moment's notice. By just about everything. Well, Mauser, you're in luck. If you want to see the games, everything is posted to YouTube as of this afternoon. All eight games that than I did which was the three games from one of the semifinal matches and then the five games of the final match. What's up? What's up, Era? So all five games that we did on we did on Saturday are now available on YouTube. And guys, don't forget, King of the Sea is technically not over. Oh, you missed the container. That's fair. Um, if you want to watch the international event, which is coming up on Saturday... Go throw Lord Zatha follow, and he is going to be bringing you that on the main warships channel on Saturday. Let me do a quick shout out. I think it's underscore. He's not in the channel, but I think that works. There we go. So go throw Lord Zatha follow. Make sure you're following him if you want to watch the international event when it comes up. From Twitch container coming this week, can you get a Georgia? I don't I don't think Georgia is available in container drops. I would be shocked to find that was the case. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Alexis, thank you for the follow. Alright, so let's look at the game. We're spawning north on two brothers. It's me, a KG5, a Nagato, our Cleveland's running away, our Edinburgh is getting bombed. He's running away. It's literally just the three of us on this flank. So I need to get past this KG and get angled out to kite because this is going to be a pushing flank for them. I'm fairly confident. Yeah, I don't expect... Uh, yeah, I, the, 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 the Twitch container drops, the epic drops or whatever they are, I've never seen them give away anything higher than a tier 8 in a, in a, in a drop container. Um, the CC containers that we that we give out sometimes will have tier eight premiums. We've had guys on the channel win Prince Eugen, uh, Massachusetts, that kind of thing. Thank you, Dark. Enjoy. All right. So we have no vision. The Chapayev's moving up the inside track by the island. I want to get wide so that I can turn out and get away from these clowns. I'm about to show myself to God and everybody. No. The battleships aren't, hard, aren't far enough up yet. That's good. Now they are. So now I'm showing broadside to a bunch of big nasty battleships that will probably try and kill me. Scores is a really, really good light cruiser, but you have to play her at range. You do not want to be... find yourself in a situation where you're up... You do not want to be too close to something. They will wipe you out. Prince Eugen wants to spin on... I mean, uh, DBF wants to spin on Prince Eugen. We will happily do that. I love my Prince Eugen. She's good. How am I spotted, I wonder? Hmm. That is an interesting question. We don't know where the Vesteris is yet, do we? I'm, I wonder if the Vesteris is over here on the one line. He very well might be. Um, to answer your question about high-tier Euro Destroyers, the answer formula is yes. I really like, I like Ulster Jutland a lot. I'm not as high on Uland. Uland is just not as good. She's a lot more challenging to play. Um, her AA is not as good as you wish. Ulster Jutland, however, is really stupid good. I love Ulster Jutland. Her AA is trolly as hell. Um, she's not, she's not a ship that you want to be courting a gunfight in, in my opinion. Yes, 1911, IFHE still. 
You're only pinning 31 mils, but you want it. Um... Oh, I got spotter plane. What am I doing here? You, um... Spotter airborne. Usta Utland, I, I, I still really enjoy. Emerald! Alright, we'll do Emerald. I've reached a point where I no longer despise Emerald the way I once did. Can you believe it? It's a little hard to believe, I know. We need eyes on these battleships so I can keep farming them. I haven't gotten any good fires lit yet. It's very disappointing. Uh, go away, KG-5. Oh, you're going to fire HE at me. Never mind. You can do that all day long. I don't care. As long as you don't fire AP at me, Battleships, I don't care what you do. You fire HE at me, we're going to... You fire IP at me, we're going to have problems. Yeah, I'm not going to get those early on. What's up, Unrug? Welcome to the party. Hope everybody brought some aiming juice this evening. You know, DBF, you're not wrong. But part of it is also the more I've... First of all, Emerald has had some quality of life buffs along the way. She has. But also, the more I play the ship, tier that that protected tier 5 matchmaking makes a big, big a bigger difference than you think sometimes. Um, and it's just... It really is surprising how good she is in for her tier. Michelle? Michelle? Michael? McShally? Misha? I think it's Misha. I don't know. Either way, I'm I'm butchering it, so either way, welcome to the channel. What's up, KG5? How you doing? Time for me to kite you away. Just don't fire IP at me. Remember our deal. That's fine. You can fire all the HE you want. You can fire all the HE you want. Just don't fire IP at me. That's our deal, okay? Now this is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, Ooh, I got really good. Somehow he's visible. The Vesteris went up the middle. Somebody went up the middle is in our cap. That's awesome. Time to go back there. There's the fire I've been looking for all game. Chapayev has come back. Oops, you know what I didn't do? I did not fix my bots from, from uh, Saturday. Let me fix that. I got a different set of timer bots to put up. Uh, you turn that off, that off, that off, and that on. There we go. That ought to fix things a bit. Welcome. What's up, Vesteris? The Jurassic Park. NT Man, thank you for the follow. You guys should really shoot the squishy cruiser. I'm just saying. Oh, force to be reckoned with. Come on. Oh, you got a double fire. Lucky prick. Ah, now we have a New Orleans sitting in our cap. Brilliant. Well, it's on the New Mexico for now, even though the New Mexico has no shots. He got resets on somebody. I can get shots on the New Mex, so he won't be capping anytime soon. You guys just keep him lit. I got this. One nice thing about this ship, she has stupidly long range. Which is good, because she needs all the help she can get. <laughs> a ship this squishy wants to sit at long range anyway. What's up, Luck? How you doing? Well, you're not wrong, Mauser. I did. And I, I would vastly prefer him to fire HE at me. I just wish him better. I wish him worse RNG than, oh, look, I pulled the trigger and got two fires. That felt pretty crappy. Okay, so the Destroyer is in the cap, and the New Orleans is in the gap. For some reason, our Fabuki thinks it's a great idea to go challenge a heavy cruiser at point-blank range. I have no idea why he thinks this is a good idea, but that's what he's doing. Alright, sure, whatever. Striker, did they... Okay, so I haven't actually read the announcement article in the sense of... Oops, well, the Imagi took care of that problem. I haven't read the announcement article in the sense of... Um, there's the data mine stuff that's on GM3D, and then there's the announcement article where they actually give the stats. Yeah, 25 knots I don't think is going to work very well. They're going to struggle with that a lot. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit right here. 
I'm going to have beautiful shots on this New York and, and this, or that sign op in a little bit. Especially since my spotter plane's going to come up. Just need somebody to spot him for me. Come on. Yeah, I haven't looked at the starting stats. Because, like, if you go into Game Models 3D, they'll tell you that their German carriers have AP rockets and HE bombs. And I think the, the bombs are... Uh, the bombs are a placeholder. Um, so it wouldn't shock me to f discover that the... Uh, wouldn't shock me to discover that the uh, torpedo stats aren't quite right either. 25 knot torps is... That's terrible. Especially with planes that have that, that health that crappy. All right, we're about to have vision over there. Show me that sign up. Show me that sign up. Oh, he left. Jerk. It's all right, I'll have shots on the New York. Let's see. Yep. Lost that. Love a fire on that guy. Give me a fire. Give me a fire. Yeah, pens, but no fires. Yeah, 25 knot torps. You also have to remember, guys, this is the first iteration. <laughs> I mean, does everybody remember the, the giant... Um, there was all of this... There was all of this rage when the first when they first started posting the stats for the Russian cruisers. Oh my god, they can all stealth radar! The rage! But they didn't come to live that way, did they? They didn't, did they? So, guys, if it's in testing, just relax. Let them test it. There's all kinds of things that have been tested in this game that have never made it to a live server. Not even for testing purposes. This is not the first time and it won't be the last. As they say in Disney, as, as they say at Disney, Hakuna Yurtatas. No, I'm not either, Striker. If that's if that's the number they're testing, then there's, in my mind, there's, I won't say there's zero chance, but there's a very low chance that, that that's the number it'll actually come out as. All right, big fat battleships. I realize I maneuver like one of you, but y'all need to figure your crap out. This New Mexico is a hazard to navigation. Look at this guy. He cut me off. He cut off the Amagi. Give me a break. I don't think they're completely destroyers against useless against destroyers, but they're certainly not going to be very good against destroyers. And I'm I'm really really okay with this. That's not lead. I'd lead him enough for that shot. There we go. Enjoy your fire, KG. And look how long it takes these shells to get there. I've got an, I've got another set reloaded before these shells land. Okay, so he put he put out the one fire, which means I need to throw some more shells at his way. Somebody kill him. Don't make me do it. I will. Fine. There, he's dead. <laughs> Not the most exciting game in the world, but we're doing okay. Maybe I need to lower that salvo a bit. Ooh, this, this sign op's getting low. This New Mexico's beat the crap out of the sign op. Check it out. Let's see if we can get him to light. He's just about to roll out of my range. I can't allow that. Oh, he's dead. Time to go on. Time to go in on the KG. Who's on double fires? You're welcome, by the way, for getting for since I burned his DCP for you. He's dead. I was gonna say he's about to die to that salvo. Hola, wife aggro. How you doing? All right, we're finally making inroads as a team. Let's go beat up this New Mexico for a little while and make him sorry he spawned in. Should be easy enough to do. Hmm. That's correct. They've raised how much fire chance you lose with IFHE. It now cuts your fire chance in half from what. So whatever your base, whatever the base fire chance on your shells is, IFHE now reduces it by fifty percent. You can recover some of that with flags, as you always could. 
but you can no longer get back to where you used like with old IFHE, you could get back to that base number again, right? You cut it by like 3% and you could easily make that up with um, demolitions expert and flags. You can't do that anymore. So IFHE now always results in more pin, but less fire chance. Like always, always, always. So that's the opportunity cost you pay. But you see here with IFHE, I'm able to pin this new mechs pretty well. In a minute, I'm yeah, I was gonna say in a minute I'm gonna get him to light again. He's gonna hate that, but that's not my problem. I need to get narrow for him. Um, light cruisers in general still remain your best option for IFHE, really. You you wanna make sure that you're running it on a light cruiser that's got HE shells. Russian light cruisers, American light cruisers. Um you don't want you don't want to waste the points on. Used to you could take it on uh, Utland and Daring or Jutland and Daring, I should say, and uh, that was a good option. But not anymore. Those those days are over. You don't want to take it on those ships anymore. Once we kill this Numex, it's going to be pretty boring over here for a while. And there he goes. All right. Uh, Kutuzov. Yeah, anything that's a light cruiser. Like if you've got six inch or smaller HE shells, you want it. The borderline cases start to come in with the Russian 180s, right? There used to be a case for the Russian 180s to have IFHE. I don't think that exists anymore. By the time you start looking, running the pen numbers, like what do you pen with that? What do you pen with it? What do you pen without it? You don't really get any bonuses. Uh, it's not really a not really a thing you have to worry about anymore. <sighs> Ultralight cruisers. IJ and ultralight cruisers. Oh, <laughs> he's talking about the Akizuki destroyer line. Yes, you definitely want it over there, in my opinion. I wouldn't take it on British battleships, Terras. They they get too. They have so much pen built into baked into their HE shells already. It's really a waste. Um. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna spend time firing I, I, HE in British battleships, but I don't think you need IFHE on a British battleship. You're getting. Base British HE shells, like, it, you're already getting, like, quarter pen. It's lunacy, so you don't need more. A hammer when you need one. More isn't get, more, it's a win-more thing. It doesn't get you anything you don't already have. All right. Range spotter. Spotter plane will be up soon. I'm glad somebody likes Nelson. I do not, wife aggro. This is... Um, this is my aiming juice for the night. This is something that I make in the springtime usually. It is uh, basically, if you've ever had a cherry limeade at Sonic, this is the alcoholic version of a cherry limeade. It is uh, Grey Goose black cherry, uh, black cherry vodka with Sprite, fresh lime, and uh, a little grenadine. <laughs> SAT's like, I like Nelson too. I'm not a huge Nelson fan. I don't, I've never cared for that turret arrangement. All right, spotter planes up. Let's start farming the Bismarck. Gotta make sure I lead him right. That's the catch with this guy. And yeah, the guy overshot him there. No, that was, well, that was another deck. Non-pens! Yeah, he's a tier 8 battleship. So now I can't pin this guy anymore, which feels terrible. Feels terrible. I can get fires. Oh, got a few pins there. Must have been superstructure pens. But I can't get fires. That feels good. Ah, he's turning around. Power on. Now it's time to kick some ass. Yeah, I don't want to sit in the cow. Oh, don't run aground. Don't run aground. Don't run aground. Don't run aground. That's bad. That's super bad. Okay, I'm going to try and go dark. I think if I don't fire, the Otago will lose sight of me. And I really kind of need that right now. One. Yes. Okay. Made a, made a bit of a navigational error there. Okay, didn't get punished too bad for it. All right, well, if I can be seen anyway, screw it. I'm going to keep shooting. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna climb into this Fabuki smoke. To ship. 
It may not be here very long, but it's going to give me some cover for a little while. Yeah, it's not going to be here very long. That's okay. For God's sakes, guys. I probably should be shooting the... The Otago, but the Bismarck is a far bigger threat right now. That, that guy needs to die. I need to get him to light. He DCP'd earlier. Go away! Take your big mean guns and go somewhere else. Go, go bother somebody else. Thank you. That's the fire I needed. Not sure why our carrier thought it was a good idea to be here, but he does. So that sucks for us. Now I have to start. Now I basically have to kill the Otago. Oh, the oh time ran out. <laughs> time ran out. We won the game. That was a weird game. It went to time, and they still had five ships left. It's a weird ass game. Gags you in the game. <laughs> Roke, thank you for the resub. I appreciate that, sir. Awesome. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's a that's I guess that's a win. Oh, Striker's here to troll me. Should be fun, kids. That other flank held out a long time. They did a lot of good work over there. 